Hey guys, I'm back here again. I uh, got our uh, follow-up video about the Honda lawnmower with the no start situation we had over here a few days ago. Uh, the old guy, he dropped off the machine, as I said in a previous video. And I was telling you the uh, the valves on the machine, or I should say the exhaust valve specifically, uh, was sticking on this machine. And uh, the guy had this machine um, tuned up by us back in early uh, June, and we uh, had it... Well, it was basically running perfectly fine for that guy from you know June, July, August, and into uh, to, to September. So it did about three and a half months. Uh, the machine was running perfectly fine for the customer. They didn't have a single problem with it at all. But uh, in in uh, middle of September, in September here, they were having problems where the machine wouldn't start. The guy put it away for I guess for a day or or, or a few days. He couldn't recall exactly how long the time was, but uh, he pulled it back out and the machine would not uh, start. And he brought it over back to us, and we found out. After we did a leak time test, uh, the engine had no compression and it was leaking uh, extremely bad out of the exhaust side of the machine over here as well too. The exhaust, uh, it was basically, the air was pouring out of the exhaust after we were doing a leak time test. Uh, we took the valve cover off on the machine here and the uh, actual valve was indeed sticking on the exhaust side. So I was, I was messing around with it here uh, yesterday afternoon for probably about a couple hours and I think I might have uh, actually solved the problem. However, the valve is uh, still like slightly sticking on there. We we, uh, we did manage to get the engine started and running over here, and we test ran for about you know, probably about a half an hour here this morning over here, and we're probably gonna call up the customer and tell them the machine that you know it's ready to go to have them. Uh, come back over and pick it up because we can't really do anything else with it because uh, in order to take the valve out of this um, specific type of engine you have to uh, you got to take the engine off the machine you got to separate the case you got to take the crankshaft out or you got to pull the cylinder by uh, pull the, pull the uh, piston out of the cylinder bore and you got to have to have the actual valve drop straight down to the cylinder bore out at the bottom of the uh, engine because this engine has a split crankcase on it does not have a uh, crankcase that's a traditional style of a uh, crankcase on plus the uh, cylinder head is the integral part of the actual cylinder bore and uh, the whole sump thing and stuff like that it's not your t your, your traditional type of uh, cylinder head on this machine right here so what we did was we like I said before we took the valve cover off uh, well, well I, I was experimenting over here yesterday afternoon um, what we were doing was I sprayed the um, shaft of the the actual um you know called veil with aerocrill i let it soak for a few hours spray it again i uh pushed the um the um you know called the uh valve up and down about 20 30 times and uh loosened it up a little bit sprayed some more aerocrill on it uh let it but basically let, let it sit overnight with the aerocrill hopefully the aerocrill might seep down on the actual stem of the exhaust valve and try to free it up then um, I was talking to a few people online about the problem I was having here, and they were suggesting to um, put some oil on it and get a drill. So what I had right here, got the electric drill right here, and what we did was uh, we took off the uh, valve spring and the valve guide and the valve retainer on the top of the valve on there. And what we did was uh, we put uh, oil onto the actual stem of the valve on there. And we got the uh, drill right here, and we and we attached the drill to the uh, valve stem, and we spun it over for about, for about like three or four minutes. Stopped, uh, put some more oil, uh, put some more oil back onto the stem over there. Uh, spun it over some more. We did that. We did that for about uh, five times in, in probably about a course of like two hours. And um, after doing that type of uh, work right there. The valve seemed to be uh, a lot freer on there for that. It wasn't sticking or binding as it was originally when a customer came over here. So we think we might have the problem, I'd say about 90% solved on there for that. We, we can't guarantee a type of repair like this because of the problem was actually going on with the job because the only way to really do it uh, correctly would have to be taking the engine off the machine, splitting the case, and uh, you know, dropping the uh, exhaust valve straight through the cylinder bore at the bottom of the case, and that's simply not going to be possible or economical because the customer did not want to have that type of repair because of the cost. So we uh, did uh, a, a cheaper option right here, and it, it seemed to be working fine. Uh, if anybody uh, has any kind of problem similar to this where your uh, intake or the exhaust valve may be sticking on your machine, I would recommend to uh, uh, soak the uh, valve that has a problem with aerocrill soaking on the stem for at least 24 hours 12 to 24 hours 
And then uh, after that, uh, we recommend using uh, a electric drill like this one right here. And uh, you take the uh, valve cover off, obviously. And you also take off the uh, valve spring, the valve keepers, and stuff like that. And what you want to do is you want to have the valve free in the bore. And you also want to have the piston at top dead center so the um, actual valve will not go all the way down far enough where it will basically drop out of the cylinder head assembly in there for that because if, 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 if it does that you can't really you know fish it either so do not push the valve stem uh, you know too far into the hole where it might drop into the cylinders that's why I always recommend keeping the top dead center right there for that then when you're ready to do the uh, the job where you want to spin the um, spin the uh, spin the actual uh, shaft of the uh, stem on there you want to put some uh, motor oil onto the uh, shaft to lube it up on there and you take your drill and you attach your drill end right here you, you put that on the end of the stem and you spin it for about three minutes stop put some more oil on the thing uh, spin again for another three minutes do that about five times and uh, let, let, let it sit for about maybe half an hour to an hour then uh, come back and check to see if the, the valve is still sticking on there and uh, as we did that we were basically experimenting over here it seemed to help it uh, free up the sticking effect on there for that so we'll go ahead and fire it up right now and we'll show you how it's uh, starting so you can actually see it the proof that it was actually working and uh, the valve is functional right now however it does have a little bit more clatter or noise from the actual valve train on it for that because the valve was still sticking slightly we can't we, we can't solve the problem completely i'm sorry to say it but uh we'll go ahead and fire it up here for you and see how it's running so we'll go ahead and do that right now give me got a camera hold it hold and situate here <coughs> fire up on one pull one pull right there it has a lot more valve noise that we cannot do anything about, but the machine does run as it is, and it started up fine, no problem. So we'll go ahead and shut off again here. You hear that? That's what's uh, the noise right there where the exhaust valve is clattering on the um, uh, actual stem, or we want to call the stem holder of the. Uh, you know the top portion of the uh, cylinder head assembly right there for that the stem is binding to the teeny bit that that that, 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 that that clacking noise right there it's doing that because the stem is not totally free and there's nothing we can really do about that other than put a new valve in there and the customer was simply unwilling to uh, do that and we what we did was basically we told the customer we, we wanted to experiment with the machine over here and we told them what, what we were going to try to do we we're going to try to uh, clean up uh, the actual exhaust stem on there for that the actual exhaust stem of the, of the valve and they say go ahead with a repair for that and we told them it's probably gonna be like you know 20 25 30 bucks or doing that because it's really not a lot of labor to do that so you can't really charge the customer you know a hundred or two hundred dollars for this you know basic labor right there for that so they told uh, told us good head do the job and uh as you see right now the machine is starting it's running okay uh we let sit overnight for a cold soak and uh it's running okay. It's, it started up with one pull out there on a cold and a hot, uh, you know, sitting, you know, time piece right there. So it's running okay for us over here. So as of right now, that, uh, uh, you know, that, that um, you know, problem seems to be solved. However, you do have a lot more valve chatter coming from the engine that we cannot do anything about. And that's going to just, you know, stay the same way. Uh, and uh, we cannot really do anything about that valve chatter on the top of the engine because it's, simply still uh, you know slightly sticking on the valves and uh, we cannot make that go away unless you do the job right by taking the valve out of there and cleaning up the valve uh, stem area and also replacing the valve so it's nice and smooth in the bore and uh, that's all we can really tell you about that job right there for that so if you have a honda uh, gcv 160 uh, gcv 190 engine something like that out there it has the overhead cam engine as this one has on here and your exhaust valve or intake valve is sticking and it's causing a, um, a hard start no start or like no compression type of symptom on your machine and you, you would definitely trace it back to to one of the valves sticking or both sticking i would recommend taking off the uh, the uh, valve cover and uh, taking off the uh, the two uh, spring keepers take the springs out of there put the engine at top dead center 
uh, spray some aero krill onto the stems of the uh, valves and uh, let it sit for about 24 hours and come back and use your uh, good old electric uh, drill and attach the drill to your uh, valves and spin them over about for about two to three minutes do it about five times on each side uh, between each interval uh, put some uh, oil onto the stem uh, the last thing I, I should probably told you is uh, hold the engine up in the air when you're working on <clears throat> Hold it up like this off the ground so when you're working on it, it's up off the ground like so. So the oil and the aero krill will seep uh, down into the uh, the valve stem air right there. That, that's that's probably a pretty pretty good idea as well too. So just keep it up in the air off the ground so it's on a slight up angle. So the oil and the aero krill will have a chance to actually get into valve stem area. So it, it's more likely that it'll be able to uh, you know lubricate and smoothen up the area where the cylinder head and also the, the valve stem contact each other right there for that so you'll be a lot more freer to move so if anybody has any comments questions whatnot now feel free to leave me a message here and i'll try to answer any questions you have about this uh, specific type of problem in the comments section i'll see you guys have a nice day